Are you serious? Are you serious, folks? Welcome to another powerful special broadcast right here. And, uh, you know, uh, wow, what a time. It really, you know what? You got to be smart at this point. You got to really be focused. You got to really get smart. And the title is kind of catchy, I know, but the United States of Infections. Where do we go from here? Uh, 71,000 people are dead, but we're starting to open up. And the question is, now there's reports coming out. There's fighting in, in fighting in the Trump administration. Do we open up slowly? Do we just open it up like Sweden? Just let it all go. And then you got reports coming in from the University of Pennsylvania saying if you do, you'll have 350,000 people dead by the end of June. So what does it all mean? Let's get an expert in here to help us. And how do you still earn a living in these troubled times? And can you do it on the market? Well, the man who has the plan and the answers and the success rate at Trade Genius Academy, Bob Kudla is with us today. Bob, how you doing today? Um, I'm good, Paul. Um, yeah, so I think uh, the, the deep state is worried. They're losing control of the narrative. And this looks a lot like climate change to me. They just, the, the predictions get more and more dire because, you know, it's like, it's like somebody who's an addict, right? You know, the, you get scared with the, with the first level of the drug. And then the second level of drug has to be even scarier. And then the third one has to be really scary because people are looking around their lives and says, I don't know anybody even has this thing, let alone dying from it. And, and you know, they, they basically did this whole thing, you know, um, backwards. You know, instead of quarantining the sick and the, and the most likely to be hospitalized, <clears throat> they decided to quarantine the whole country which leads me to believe that there's a different agenda here. And it's not just our country, <clears throat> the whole world. So my view is either they knew China's wet thing was a weapon and didn't know how powerful it was, so they overreacted. Now that they know it's, 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 you know, it's a virus, but it's not infecting people like they thought, but they've already scared people, so now their credibility's on the line. <clears throat> so now they're gonna double down to triple down. And then, you know, my view is that all these people are saying these things because if we do have a higher death rate, they basically wanna blame Trump. I mean, that's just the bottom line. But 350,000 deaths by the end of June, that, that's six weeks from now, Paul, 250,000 people have to die, okay, in six weeks. We don't even have that many infected right now, you know, new infections. So, I mean, it's just, a, it's just crazy. And the viruses, they die in the summertime. So, you know, you don't, you don't have to be an epidemiologist. You don't have to be a biologist. You don't have to be a scientist. You know, you just have to have what's called, I've got a PhD in common sense. <laughs> and, and, you know, that's just telling me that this whole yeah. thing is hokum. Yeah. And, and they, uh, they're they not finished with whatever their political agenda is on this thing. Look, we have Japan, we have Singapore, we have uh, Sweden. You know, we have countries that are models that have the same level of what I would call access to quality care, same latitude as the United States. And they're not experiencing anything like the, and they've been, they've been this way from the beginning. So, you, so I, I, I just think that they're just going to get more and more shrill. And, and you know, they want to ramp up the testing because the more people you test, the more you find they have it. But that's not the control point here. You know, the control point here is how many people are going to the hospital. That's the only thing that ever matters. It doesn't matter how many people get infected. But if you don't go to the hospital, it's Mox Nicks. Yeah, you know, it sounds like what's happened here, and I think you've hit the nail right on the head, is 
the whole world, the globalists decided to just shut the world down. And really, it's all about the, the election, the Trump trying to figure out a way to drive this guy out of power because he called everybody out. He called NATO out. He called the EU out. He called everybody out. He called China. He put the tariffs on China, uh, which, he, you know, he threw a crowbar in the spokes of the wheel. Uh, he made America the greatest economic power in the world, building up the military. And the globalists, it's like, okay, Mueller didn't work. Uh, Russia hoax didn't work. You know, Kavanaugh didn't work. Nothing worked. Impeachment didn't work. So just one last Hail Mary left, and that's just release McCracken. And I think Mike Pompeo, and I think everybody knows that uh, this thing looks real fishy. That it, no, no pun intended, but when it got into the wet market, it, it came out of that lab in Wuhan, and and um, and it's it's bioengineered. I mean, you you, you almost got to believe it is. The thing is now these new numbers, three hundred fifty thousand people will die. I mean, that like you said, that's another quarter of a million or a half a, a quarter of a million people would have to die in six weeks. I mean, that would be like an atrocious explosion. But it's all about fear and 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 clamming down the market. They don't want to open up. And Sweden left their markets open, Bob. And yeah, people have died. Oh yeah, it's a, it's a real virus, and I think it's even engineered. But you gotta open up, don't you? You gotta open up the economy and protect the elderly. Protect the elderly and open up the economy. Yeah, look, a lot of these governors and these these, these people in bureaucracy got they got a taste of power, and they liked it, and so. You know, it's good to wake up every day and people having to bend to your will. But we're at a point now where the American people are are just now openly defying. I mean, you saw that lady in Dallas just basically said, hey, put me in jail. I I have to feed my family. And uh, that's what you need to do. You do do what you need to do. I'm going to do what I need to do. And you're just going to have more and more people. People in California walk right by the sheriff's right onto the beach. Sheriffs didn't do anything because they were told to stand down. You know, so I just think, uh, you know, what is the, the government, have the, the, the people will allow the government, the uh, elected politicians to govern as long as they have our consent. And, and, and they're going to lose it. And what I really fear is that we're going to have a real crisis come and nobody's going to believe these people anymore. Yeah, that's that's yeah. yeah and, and, you know, I'm really concerned about the power grid. I've been saying this feels like the first wave of an attack on us was the was the virus. This was uh, it was almost like China's way of saying, OK, you wrecked our economy with your tariffs. We'll show you how to wreck an economy. And then if you get too weak, what if you lose your power grid? I mean, the president just signed an executive order concerned about the power grid. And then third, military intervention, if you're not careful. Somebody could, you know, get you down. So I think there's a lot behind the scenes that we're not hearing about. I think the president doesn't want war with China. He's saying, guys, we need to quit talking about Wuhan and and open up the economy and let's get this thing going. But there's a lot of folks who want to see it get worse. They are hell-bent on making it worse, Bob, to try to bring this nation down. And uh, but you know what? I still think that the goodwill of the people will, will rise above it in the good Lord himself. Yeah, look, you know, all you need to know is are the elites, if the elites are scared, they would be following these protocols. And since they're not afraid, they know, they know what we already know, that this thing is, is overhyped and overblown. Look at the guy. I mean, you want to talk about not getting away with your sin. The guy that created this whole mess out of England, you know, the one that's been advising the government to shut the world down, you know, has his married his married uh, wife of another man come over for what they call indoor exercising. Oh, God. <laughs> and got caught, and he violating the protocol. Look, we have people going to jail for that in the United States, and this guy is the one that designed the rules. The mayor of Chicago, same. Chris Cuomo, same. You know, all these people tell you how to live, and then they say, well, you know, we're more important than that. We have to be a Blasio. You know, everybody. And so that all, that's all you need to know. And But they, they can't handle the heat anymore. So the American people are already speaking on this. They're doing polling data. You know, they know. 
And the only question you have to ask these guys, would you still be enacting the same rules if you were getting paid? And, and that's, that's all you need to know. Bob, now you've been, folks, this is Bob Kudler here with TradeGeniusAcademy.com. That's www.TradeGeniusAcademy.com. He truly is a genius when it comes to teaching people how to trade. Even in these times, you won't believe it. Now, you can always pick up the phone and call and learn more about what he offers over there at 1-800-949-1408. That's 1-800-949-1408. Bob is really, really good at the trades. Matter of fact, we've got a, uh, a graft just from today and even with the market losing about 150 160 points whatever it's going to wind up he still is able to pull off great winners for the folks that are following his algorithms check look at this look at this bob what yeah I don't, that's the tether chart you know that's a stock that's a biotech we talked last month that there's certain industries that are going to do well and biotech's going to be one of them so you find a stock that reacts well to our system and you just keep trading it until it doesn't work and we were also short oil today paul and there's an etf for that we were short the small caps there's an ETF for that, so you don't have to do shorting per se. And all those trades up paid us today. We got out of a miner earlier in the day with a profit, and then we also had a, a trade that, that that you know didn't work for us as well. So you know it's not a perfection system; it's a high probability system, but it works well. And I just sh I just went into the comment section today, and these are some of the notes that people were were sending us in terms of uh, the trades. And some of those trades they were taking that I put in the notes weren't signals that we were giving out because one of the things that we do is we teach you how to trade and and that you can then use the same system that i use to make money so a couple guys were in there taking trades that were um, and asking me questions all day should i get in this one or what about that one hey i took this one a guy a guy traded oil long and short today using my signal so it's a really good system we call it the ribbon system ribbon profit system we teach you how to trade it we put together 12 really easy um, to digest courses you know five to ten minutes long each you know each has a different subject so that if there's something you're stuck in you don't you don't have to listen to me babble for an hour you can just zip into the into the uh into the sermon that I'm, I'm preaching on and and then just take advantage of that one and then and then you're up to speed pretty quickly on it and then the chat rooms are running all day we're in there to answer questions and and then we also um give you the tools that on your software that you can actually see the buy and sell signals and so uh it's a really effective system you know it's, it's designed for people whether they're trading cryptocurrency or they're trading stocks or whether you're a, 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 an occasional trader a swing trader and i use it i day trade all the time so i use it to even day trade the market so so to, to, no matter what your preference is we give you the the, the tweaks to the to the signal to accomplish the goals that you want to trade and and once you have them set up you know you're good to go uh, Bob, also I noticed the uh, gold is holding in around sixteen fifty-seven or so. Silver's around fifteen dollars and eleven cents. Bitcoin up nine thousand two fifty-six. Uh, oil now back up to twenty-nine dollars a barrel or so. So uh, precious metals are stable, and Bitcoin picking up. Uh, you you help people learn how to trade on uh, cryptocurrency, don't you? We do. I mean, we have a we have a special room just for that, and we have a, a person who's been a what they call a Bitcoin miner from 2011. So nobody knows more about the crypto market than uh, than Phil does, a trade genius. So, uh, and we we have a system designed just to use our ribbon system for cryptos, and it's just very powerful. And and uh, you know, um, there's another gentleman I do interviews with, and he's a crypto just a crypto fiend and he was just exalting me yesterday how he took the seat from 5500 to 9100 just using the ribbon so there, there's a lot of opportunities and the cryptos are nice because you get into it with very little money you can trade this thing down to the one minute if you if you if you don't want to have any other life and you just want to trade like crazy and you can build up a, a nice portfolio over time and so uh it's a very powerful system and and 
I think the thing we have to watch out for now is is the cross currents, Paul. You know, with uh, you talking about oil, we think oil is probably going to roll back down now, and um, and gold and silver may may dip a little bit because of, we're getting a little bit of a deflationary taste now with 21 million people out of work, and uh, now they're not they're unemployed in the sense that they're not getting paid, but the government's paying them. But that's all going to start running out here in the next six weeks. So I think the next 90 days is going to be a little bit of a, um, a test of people's courage in the market here before it finds a, a, another low, in which hopefully we can build the economy back up against. So I think, Bob, we're good. we need to open the, the, the whole place up. We need to open the entire economy back up, and we probably should do it about now. Of course, in New York, that's difficult because the, the virus is, that is certainly more of a problem. But if you look at the rest of the country, if they just open this thing up, protect the elderly and open this thing up, could there be a V rebound? Because uh, stimulus checks are still out there. People are drawing unemployment and it hasn't run out yet and there's a chance that if we open quickly we could have a v rebound or is it too late if we miss that window We're, it's too late paul we we destroyed commercial real estate in the city centers now um restaurants are very expensive ventures and those people have very low margins and they i guarantee you they don't have any money laying around and so you're going to see a wave of bankruptcies to the hospitality space. If the United States has one Achilles heel, it's that, that we're, we're a high service to GDP industry, I mean economy, <clears throat> excuse me, and when we have a high degree of what I would call not needed services, you know, when, when push comes to shove, you know, um, are you going to uh, go to a hotel? Are you going to get a massage? Are you going to get your nails done as much? You know, maybe you're not going to get a pet. You know, maybe you're not going to travel and go to a pet sitting place. You know, all those all those industries are, are going to really, really, really struggle to come back. And 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 then the, the, the governments are going to react negatively to that because they're cutting into their revenue stream. Remember, counties and cities, most of their revenue comes from uh, the sales taxes. And so people aren't buying anything, or if they're, if they're buying the necessities that typically aren't taxed, they're going to try to start raising taxes on people, like property tax and things of that nature, and that's going to depress things even more. They're going to, they're going to learn the exact wrong lessons that they learned in the Great Depression. They're going to repeat them. They're going to raise taxes into this on, on, at the local level, because the federal government will do it. And it's just going to continue to depress things, and it's going to continue to bring these winners and losers. So I think it's going to be a lazy L, and that'll turn into a U. Do you? I, I, I know that uh, California got bailed out, I understand, in this last deal. Um, and when I say bailed out, I mean, really, it's the pension funds, I think, majority of it. Uh, and some of the uh, some of the cities, folks. This is www.tradegeniusacademy.com. www.tradegeniusacademy.com. You got Bob Cudla here, and Bob uh, has a phone number you can call: one eight hundred nine four nine fourteen zero eight. That's one eight hundred nine four nine fourteen zero eight. Now he's got a special May Day, May Day, May Day, but it's a good one. It's a good May Day special that he's got running this whole month. Check it out. Mayday specials, the best value, and he's got the crypto value plan. And you heard what he said. It's a really cool system where you can go in and binary options are available and all the learning that gets you involved in the trading. So, Bob, um, okay, I'm with you on this here. The It is kind of scary to think about the local governments, state and local governments may really jack up some prices or some taxes do you think they're going to do the property taxes with property values? Obviously, they're going to go down because of the uh, the uh, issues with the bankruptcies. Yeah, it's going to be a twofer. So, you know, Illinois already shows us how this works. New Jersey shows us how this works. There's no cap on, on property limit, property tax, uh, you know, assessments. They, they've doubled and tripled their property tax rates. And in Illinois, homes are worth less than they were 20 years ago. And, and that's what's going to happen here. And then people are going to get upside down on their homes. 
and the taxes are going to overwhelm them. They're just going to not pay the property taxes for a couple of years and walk away. And, and then and it just seems snowball. So remember, the, these local governments, the first thing they don't think about is how do I cut cut my employee and my pension costs or my medical costs. First they think about is how I can extract more revenue from the citizenry. And, and I think that's going to be the, uh, you know, we have virtuous cycles when things go up. This is the vicious cycle because they, they don't care. These, these people feel entitled to your hard work. And, and look, none of those people have lost their jobs. Well, you might have lost your job and you're still sitting in a home and they're going to carve out a little extra tax on you to boot. And, you know, to that point, no government layoffs now, on the federal, state, or local levels throughout the entire nation during this coronavirus, zero. No government layoffs. Matter of fact, they're talking about how they've, they've got scheduled raises and increases that are scheduled that are going to come about, including pension funds. So when the federal government just bailed out California, and you'll see they're going to bail out Illinois, they'll bail out New York, and they're going to bail out Connecticut. And those are the four states that really were in a jam. Others are sick, but those four were gone. This bailout is going to require so much excess cash. The question is, where is it going to come from? I mean, the, if you keep laying people off and you keep printing money, uh, the value of the currency starts to really deplete. I mean, this is affects the overall health of the nation. Am I right, Bob? Yeah, so here's the thing that people don't get. Our dollar is going to remain strong but only strong relative to other currencies. So, you know, you're gonna watch the relationship between gold and, and, and the dollar is your first tell on the purchasing power of the dollar. And then after that, then you're gonna see how it reacts to food and it's not been reacting to food very well, although that might just be a short-term supply chain issue. But my philosophy on this is that we're gonna probably end up in what I call an inflationary depression. Meaning that it's not going to be like price collapse like we've seen in 1929. The politicians are smarter than that. So what they're going to do is they're going to make sure that asset prices remain elevated, but your ability to buy them is going to be severely diminished. So it's going to be basically the stock market for the rich, the real estate market for the rich, the vacation markets for the rich, you know, all the fun toys for the rich. And then the hoi polloi are going to be lucky that they're going to make enough money to live in their hovels. And, and I, I don't think this is an accidental plan. I think these people truly believe that they have this destiny and, and that they really don't care about you. And you have to look no further than any third world country to see the template. These people, these wealthy people, have no problem living in... In, in garbage heaps as long as what they have carved out is beautiful to them and you know and I think this ties in the book of Revelations I think about this often is that you know I don't know if we're getting the um, the trumpets here Paul but you know when uh, when you know the, Jesus tells the angel don't you know basically the oil and the, and the wine don't touch but make it really hard to uh, get a day's wages for you know the wheat and the barley that's exactly what I'm seeing here. You know, the rich are going to still be able to afford their stuff, and it's going to get increasingly hard for middle class and poor people to uh, to have the lifestyle that they've enjoyed over the last number of years. Now, I'm not trying to be intentionally negative or depression eerie here, but you know, it's incumbent upon you to be able to fight your way through that and not just be a sheep. And so, you know, I like to trade for a living. I like to teach people and show people how they can trade for a living. But a lot of people have a lot of skills out there. And, and, and you better do an internal gut check and see what skills you can bring to bear that are gonna, that are gonna survive and thrive in, in, in the new economy with, where you, you're gonna have to have something marketable. And I'm not talking about being a really good accountant. I'm talking about things that people are gonna need. Because there are going to be opportunities out there, but that's my view on this, Paul. You know, and uh, I 
I thought for sure that you know Trump was going to be able to push us over the goalposts here, but uh, but this this whole this whole pandemic uh, uh, fake crisis is designed to probably reorient the world towards what the elites want. Well, there's no doubt about it, folks. Bob Kudla is on top of this story. Bob Kudla at TradeGeniusAcademy.com. That's www.TradeGeniusAcademy.com. Pick up the phone. You can call him at 1-800-949-1408. That's 1-800-949-1408. You made a very, very, very astute point. And that is you as an individual have to pick up the ball and run with it. You can't sit and wait on the government to feed you. The mommy system don't work. You have to step up. You got to say, what talents do I have? What do I have? You know, what can I do? What can I bring to the table? And some of you, believe it or not, if you got involved, I think, with Trade Genius a little bit here and got some teaching, got some training, got some tools, you might find out that the opportunity, see, it's just sort of like the Joseph effect. It doesn't matter if there's seven bad years. If you, if you got on top of this thing early, during they made more money in egypt the seven bad years than the seven good years okay because everyone else had to figure out how to come to them and you can do this guys and it's a biblical principle but it does require work mind faith and stepping up to the plate and uh and and, and there's a way to diversify and do that without throwing all your eggs in one basket isn't that right bob yeah, I mean, look, if you can work your way to making $100 a day, you're making $25,000 a year. So, you know, if you're sliding off into retirement and, and you know, you already have a bit of a pension and Social Security and things of that nature, and you want to make sure that you're, you're supplementing yourself, you know, you don't have to sit there and trade all day like I do. You know, you, tra- you can trade a couple hours a day. And, and work a plan to be able to make that kind of money. And and then over time, as your capital builds, you just keep increasing it. You know, so it's not like, you know, you see those people on TV talk about, hey, get rich quick. The way you make money in this business is to get rich slow and, and steady with a good process. And, uh, and it works. Yeah, and I mean, that's true with anything in life, guys. Seriously, whether you're... Uh a uh, furnace repairman or you know whether you're uh um a farmer in a lot of cases or no matter what it is you do you have to show up every day you have to get up every day you got to make sure you're there and you got to ride out the storms occasionally and you got to figure out how to adjust and you can do this okay and uh, i mean Look, the economy was the greatest economy in the world and thank god it was because if it wasn't and we hit this It's over. I mean, we can overcome this as an Americans, and certainly the body of Christ can if we we apply the principles that God has given us. But we've got to we've got to work at it. Got to be smart, and we got to be not afraid, you know. And uh, go to go to it right now. Check out Bob's website right now at www.tradegeniusacademy.com. That's www.tradegeniusacademy.com. Or pick up the phone and call him at one eight hundred nine four nine fourteen zero eight. That's one eight hundred nine. 49-1408. Bob, I'm praying to God that the University of Pennsylvania is wrong, that we're not going to lose 350,000 people by the end of June or whatever the date was. I think it was the end of June, which would just be insane. It'd be six weeks or something. But certainly uh, there are people who have died and there's families hurting and we're not discounting that at all. But at some point you got to open up this economy and 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 be smart about it and and i'm just praying they just go ahead and do it look look paul you know i don't know what, when they reset the standard that nobody's allowed to die anymore you know so you know that's a false choice they're giving people you know that people die every day and you know if we use that philosophy you know get out of your car because cars kill people randomly just like a pandemic does <clears throat> You know, and there's there's many other diseases out there that you can apply this same quarantine principle to, but they're politically politically uh, protected. And so, you know, that's not going to happen. And so, you know, people just need to just understand that, you know, if, if you're vulnerable, 
then you need to take action and the government needs to focus on that. And and look, this virus has been here since November. They're, they're, Paris is already finding out they had earlier cases in December. Governor Newsom of California su suspects that we had people that actually died in December here from it. So it's been out here now for six months and our hospitals are empty. So, you know, you go figure that out. My view is once they get enough money in the hands of the politicians, then this, this story gets taken off the front page. And, and if not, you know, we get a new Supreme Court nominee, the fight will be over that so much that it'll be like Wuhan who, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, so it's just one of those things where, you know, it, New York is the one that's hardest hit, it's where the media is, so they want everybody to feel their pain. And then you have, you know, basically the lockdown experts are the same people that apply the same rules for everybody, whether they work or not. And and so I think the fact that governments are going to see their revenues collapse is going to be incentive for them to push people back to work. Is Biden going to survive this? Is he going to, now that Mika Brzezinski went off on him, is he done? Are they going to pick somebody else? Uh, are they going to make a last minute substitution just before? Is that? Huh? I hope not. I hope not too, but I'm a little nervous about it. So yeah, well, you know, by the time this happens, you know, some of the news coming out too. Maybe Obama's going to be so implicated in all this stuff that you know, I don't know if Michelle is going to want to touch it. Right? Hillary is already third rail. Nobody wants her. And so it's going to. And then Bernie Sanders. You know, I guarantee there'll be a, a lawsuit here. If, if Biden drops out and Bernie doesn't get the nod, because he, he, he received the, uh, the assent of his voters. He deserves it. If Biden can't run, it needs to be Bernie Sanders. And then I'd be okay with either choice. Folks, there you hear Bob Kudla, Bob Kudla at TradeGeniusAcademy.com. At TradeGeniusAcademy.com. Pick up the phone. You can call him also at 1 800 949 1408. He's running that May Day specials. Get in there, learn about this, okay? And, uh, and this is the opportunity. He's picking winners. He can pick winners. It don't matter if it's snowing or wind or rain, he can pick winners. So, uh, Bob, appreciate you being with us today. It's some very, very good information. Once again, you're always on top of it. Yeah, thank you. The only last thing is that uh, the prices we put together, Paul, early good till Saturday. All right, good till Saturday, guys. A good till Saturday. So go check out his website. Get locked in. Start trading. Start learning how to trade. And if you are a trader, learn how to do it better at TradeGeniusAcademy.com. God bless you, Bob. Appreciate it. Thank you. And guys, we'll see you next time right here on another special report on the coming apocalypse.